Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Wostoszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam IFM, Investments and Financial Markets. For a binomial option pricing model, you were given the following information. The current stock price is $110. The strike price is $100. The interest rate is 5% continuously compounded. The continuous dividend yield is 3.5%. The volatility is 0.30. The time to expiration is one year. The length of period is four months. Compute the risk neutral probability of an increase in the stock price over one period. So we use the standard model for binomial tree, as presented in the McDonald book. The um, up move is from $1 to $1 value of the risky security to u equal to e to the r minus delta. r is the risk-free interest rate. Delta is the um, continuous compounded dividend yield times h, the length of a period, plus sigma square root of h. In this case, it's e to the 0 0.05 minus 0 0.035 times one third, one third of a year because the period, standard period is uh, four months, plus uh, 0.30 times the square root of one third. And that's approximately 1.1951. And D, the value to which a dollar invested in the risky security of stock, um, the down value that it goes to is e to the r minus delta times h minus sigma square root of h versus plus for the up move. So that's e to the 0 0.05 minus 0 0.035 times one third minus 0 0.30 times square root of one third and that's approximately 0 0.8452 and the risk neutral probability of the up move is p star equal to e to the r minus delta times h minus d over u minus d that is equal to e to the 0 0.05 minus 0 0.035 times one third minus 0.8452 over 1.1951 minus 0.8452 that's approximately 0.4568 which is answer c please remember this is copyrighted material the problem itself comes from the society of actuaries the solution is mine good luck in your studies and good luck on the test